Even though in the web Saptarishi website article, the author has mentioned how to calculate the Sudarshana Chakra Dasa, I will, I'm trying here to explain in a much simpler fashion using Microsoft Excel as the software tool. And to start with, let's take the birth chart of Indira Gandhi. For Indira Gandhi, the ascendant is 27 degrees and 27 minutes in Cancer. And so for some... Uh, Using some other software, I got it as 22 minutes. So let's consider it as 27 degrees, 22 minutes as the Lagna ascendant. Now, how do you do? The first step, you multiply the degrees with 12. Here it is 27 degrees. So 27 times 12 is 324. Then second step is pick the minutes and divide it with 5 and try to get the nearest integer. So 22 divided by 5 is equal to 4. That's the nearest integer possible. And the third step is add step 1 and step 2 and then subtract from 360 degrees. So 360 minus 328 which is equal to 32. So this is the number of Lagna balance days for cycle number 1. That means at the time of birth for the first house 32 days are remaining. Remember in Vagotami Dasa we have the balance period at the time of birth. In the same way here in Sudarshana Chakra Dasa also you have this Lagna balance. So you start with the date and then add 32 days to the birthday, date of birth that will complete your in the first cycle the first house and then for every house add 360 days which is equal to one year. So for the first cycle the second house will begin 32 days after the date of birth of Indra Gandhi. So let's go and see how it looks like. Let me explain how it comes back when it goes to the second cycle. Here you see it. The date of birth of Indra Gandhi is November 19, 1917. So you add 32 days that is approximately equal to December 20th, 1917. So now in the cycle 1 from the 2nd to the 12th you have to add 11 years. So for 1917 your 11 years is approximately equal to 23rd October 1928 and then the second cycle from the 1st to 12th you add 12 years so every cycle is 12 years so you take the start period and then add 12 years to get the end period this is how you do the each cycle so I had done for Indira Gandhi I have done all the way up to the sixth cycle because we all know that she died in 1984 so I stopped at this point. Now let me show you live how to calculate this using Microsoft Excel, an automated version of calculating the Sudarshana Chakra once you input the birth date and the Lagna degrees, inclination, the degrees and the minutes, how Excel automatically calculates it. I'll try to show you. Hi, let me start explaining you how to calculate the Sudarshan Chakra Mahadasa and Antardasas by using Microsoft Excel software. Here is the how the software looks like. Here you have to input the person's native birth date. For example, I took it as 1st January 2001. And then once you calculate the native birth chart, take the Lagna in degrees and inclination. You enter the degrees here and the inclination here then the Lagna balance date will be automatically calculated. Let me show you how it does it. First, remember I explained the three steps that you have to follow to calculate the Lagna balance days for Sudarshan Chakra Dasa. Step one is take the degrees. What are the Lagna degrees you have it? Yeah, here it is. Take the Lagna degrees, multiply with 12. That means 27 times 12 is 324. Step two is take the minutes and divide it by 5 and try to get the nearest possible integer. Here the number of minutes is 42. 42 divided by 5, the nearest integer is 8. 
and then in the final step add step 1 and step 2 and subtract from 360 degrees so here it is 360 minus 332 which is equal to 28 so the lagna balance this is 28 remember in Vimsotaridasa, we have the planet balance days. You calculate based on the lagna and then you add that planet balance period to the date of birth. So that will be your first uh, dasa uh, system. In the Vimsotaridasa system, that's the first period you have. The baby will have it. So in the same way here, in Sutrashan Chakra Dasa also, you take the date of birth here for the lagna take the date of birth here add the 28 days the lagna balance days so you get 28th january 2001 and this is for the first house for the second house through the 12th house which are there are 11 houses now so you take the end date of the lagna balance period that is january 28 2001 and here if you look at it the equation says that for the start today this date 28 january 2001 add 360 per year times 11 years so here you can say it as day as d19 plus 360 times 11 so if you add it you will get it december 2nd 2011 this is for the first cycle now let's go to the second cycle in the second cycle of the sudarshan chakradasa it starts from the first house and ends in the 12th house so that means there are 12 houses so you take this la first cycle end date will be the start date for the succession chakra period and then here you add 12 times 360 days that is for that whole 12 cycle 12 houses so that comes to december september 30th 2023 you keep you repeat it for as many cycles as you want it here to show it i did it from total cycle number through to through cycle number eight this is how you calculate the Sudarshana Chakra Mahadasa. This is just a Mahadasa. Now, let me show you how to calculate the Antardasas. In the Antardasa starts like, for example, in the second cycle, you have the first house through the 12th house. So the Antardasa, the first house is the Mahadasa. And then the Antardasa for the first house as the Mahadasa, the Antardasa begins again with the first house and goes all the way to the 12th house. So, if your Mahadasa is the second house, the Antardasa begins with the second house and goes and ends in the first house. I am sure you understood what I meant by so the Mahadasa, whichever the house it starts, the Antardasa starts with that house and ends with the previous house. Now, let us see how to calculate the Mahadasa, Antardasa calculations. For the first house, whichever the cycle you wanted, you take the starting period here. Here, I took the starting period as this one, that is the second cycle, starting period as 2nd December 2011, which I copied it here. Here you can see it as equal to D, D30. This is this equal to D20 means it goes and picks whatever the date you have it in D20 column. This is the D20. So it just picked up that one and put it over here. And from here, each house has one year, 360 days, sorry. So for you add 360 days, it ends at 1st December 2012. So now when you look at it, the Mahadasa from Lagana is the first. Now let's see how to calculate like the Antardasa. When the first house for the first house Mahadasa, let's see how we calculate the Antardasas. The Antardasa starts with the first house as usual, and then which is the starting date, and for each Antardasa is only 30 days. So you add just 30 to the start period you get this one so you keep adding 30 days and by the time you complete the end of the mahadasa first mahadasa it is 26th november 2012 and here you get it as first december 2012 so there is a calculation error the reason is when you add 30 days here when you add 30 days to december 2nd 2011 you're supposed to get december 2nd january 2nd 2012 but the software adds 30 days when it adds it it looks at the uh, year the month and then figure it out whether the year is a leap year or not whether the month is uh, february or not and then whether the, that particular month has 30 days or 31 days it does all this so it's not in our control to get the exact numbers so at the most when you calculate using these automated software tools 
you will get an error of plus or minus one week. So let's take it. It doesn't matter for one week difference. So let me go to the after we completed the first house. Let's see how it will be do the, the second house. Second house Mahadasa. It starts on 1st December 2012, which is this guy, and it start it completes in 1st December 2013. And then this is the second house Mahadasa. And when you go to the second house, how the Antardasa in the second house Mahadasa, how the Antardasa goes is. It starts with the second house on 1st December 2012 and ends in 31st December 2012. That is the 30 days. So you keep doing all these things and you can do for each Mahadasa. You can do, go all the way up to the 12 houses, 12 houses. And then for each 12 house, you can go back and do the Antardasa 12. See, this is how you do it. Uh, there was, I was hiding some files. Let me unhide it so you can see. Unhide. Why is it giving the hide? I don't know. From 2 to 16, 16 it's not giving. Yeah, there it goes. So, so in the 12th house, you see it starts with the 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, all the 12 houses are here. That's how the system, this Sudarshan Chakra Mahadasa works. The sign of the dasa. Just to give one more time, let me give a different date and show you without explaining I just just keep moving so you can see how the columns changes let me take 8 15 1947 since the date is in US format you have to enter the month first then the day and then the year so this is 15th August 1947 if assume that for Republic of India uh, the Lagna days are the same so if you look at it if the Lagna inclination does not change the Lagna balance days does not change either because the Lagna balance days is directly linked only to the inclination Lagna inclinations that's the reason why when you are going for Sudarshan Chakra Dasa you have to make sure that the time of birth is perfect within within two to three minutes or at the most five minutes difference if you have a five minutes difference in the time of birth the lagna balance days will be plus or minus seven days already the software is showing a difference of plus or minus seven days so you add on to the top of that the error due to the uh, wrong time of birth so it will be a difference so that is that error is what you have to consider when you are ca calculating the Sudarshan Chakra Dasa. I usually prefer to do the Sudarshan Chakra Dasa if, I'm, if the time of birth is given is correct. I, and the NATO says this is exact time of birth. Then I take it like if the NATO says it is around 9.30 a.m. So that is not the correct time of birth. But whereas if the NATO says that it's 9 o'clock, 26 minutes, 48 seconds. If that is the time of birth that the NATO has sent, then I can say that it is very close by and I take it as 9 a.m. 27 minutes, taking rounding of the 48 seconds as 60 seconds, the closest number of seconds, and add that minute to the existing minutes and then calculate the Sudarshan Chakra Dasa. Now let's see how, if you don't change the inclination, Lagna inclinations, the Lagna balance base does not change. Now you go and see how the Sudarshan Chakra Dasa changes. So for the first cycle, the Lagna go is starts at 15th August 1947, adds the 28 days a year, you get September 11th, 1947. From the second house to the 12th house, you take September 11th, 1947 and add 360 times 11 houses, you get July 15th, 1958. That, so on 15th July 1958, Sudarshan Chakra Dasa first cycle has been completed. Then you go to the second cycle. The second cycle starts from the first house and ends in the 12th house. So it starts on 15th of July 1958 and completes on May 13th 1970. And you keep do, doing all these things. Now for a, you, the current year is 2016. So you want to know if for this year, which is Sudarshan Chakra, the Mahadasa and Antardasa are running. So you see here, this is uh, this is the. If you look at it, the sixth cycle, the is where 
the Sudarshana Chakra Dasa is for Republic of India assuming that the Lagna inclination is between 27 and 28 degrees. Now you want to know the Antar Dasas. So you know that this is the starting period which is D24. So you come over here and you say equals to D24 press enter key you got it as 5th November 2005 which is the starting date and then you got 6 so now this is the year 2016 so you keep going down till you see 2016 there here we are so right now it is for Republic of India if the inclination is 27 degrees and 42 minutes if you assume that inclination is correct right now the 11th house is act getting activated uh, and which the activation starts on November 2015 and ends in November 2016. Now you want to know what is the Antar Dasa, which house is getting activated. So if you assume that 15th August, here it is. So if you see the 15th August, this is where it gets at. The 8th house is getting activated. That is from 1st August till 31st August. So the Mahadasa is the 11th house and the Antar Dasa is the 8th house. What you do is, I will give you more in detail how to predict, use this uh, to predict. So what you do at this point is, you take the 11th house, look at who is the lord of the 11th house, which planets are residing in the 11th house, which planets are aspecting the 11th house, and then how, how many of these are malefics, how many of these are benefics. You prepare a chart for that, and then, do the same thing for the 8th house. After you complete the natal chart, go to the transit planets and see the slow moving transit planets, the Rahu, Jupiter and Saturn. We know that Rahu is in Leo. After August 11th, Jupiter will be in Virgo and Saturn and Mars, they both are in Scorpio. This is the known fact. So you can take those these three transit planets positions and superimpose on the natal chart and then see are these transit planets aspecting the 11th house or residing in the 11th house or having any direct connection with the lords of the 11th or 8th house once you come to once you get the, all the data analyze it and then come to a conclusion how what might have or what might happen during the 11th house Mahadasa and 8th house Antardasa for the chart. I will give you more in detail in my next presentation. I will consider various charts and explain how to use these techniques and predict the one of the event. And before you learn how to predict anything, first thing you have to do is you have to practice and with the known charts and analyze it and then come have some feeling and confidence of how to how this happened once you the once you get confident that these rules are valid under most of the circumstances then you use these rules to predict i will i will show you in my next session how these things will happen until then thank you and goodbye